Good morning, good morning. Hi everyone. Good morning, happy Sunday. Hope everybody's having a nice relaxing Sunday. I'm ready to get crafting. Got a new one to show you. Hope you're all looking forward to it. Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm just gonna share this to my group. If you have not already joined my um, crafting group and you're interested, it is called Hen House Crafting Club. And that's where I post all of my uh, videos and pictures and how-tos and all of that good stuff. Okay. So today we're going to work on a tractor that I have. See a few people have already popped on. Hey, Courtney and Sonia. Good to see you guys on here with me today. For some reason, it's giving me difficulties. I apologize. So the project that we're working on today is called That Tractor Life. And it's a two-part tractor design. And I really debated um, on what colors to use for this. So my husband has a red tractor, so and I love red. So I really thought about doing a red tractor, but I know a lot of people really, really like the green and yellow John Deere tractors um, for decor and things like that. So I think I'm gonna go with green and yellow. So we have these two. This one is called Parakeet Green. And this yellow is Buttermilk. We're also gonna use the bright white and the storm gray. internet is giving me a hard time over here on my laptop so it's not letting me share so I guess I will just go back and share later hey mom glad you were able to hop on get to watch me live so what I'm gonna go do is go ahead and turn my camera down so that you can see what I'm working on today first thing I have to do is fuzz with my fuzzing cloth um, to make sure that my transfer is prepared for my board. So let me turn this down so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so these transfers are numbered. So we have part one and part two. So we're gonna start with part one. Just peel it off. And just get a little bit of fuzz on the back so it's not super, super sticky to protect our transfer and also to help with placement. Um, you know, if you're trying to move it around and place it in just the right spot and it's like really, really sticky, that's hard to do. So, got that. And we're going to put it on this Couture Gallery board. It's an Aiden board nine by 12 inches. So that's the one we're using today. I really love the frame on this one. So it's a nine by 12. I'm gonna go ahead and line this up towards the bottom so that I can have room for the words up top. So I just somewhat center it. That's off just a little bit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. 
And then I just want to rub over the screened areas to make sure that they are stuck there. Now this, um, because it is a multicolor, it does also have these little register marks. Can you see them? So I'll go ahead and fill those in and um, what will happen is when we go to put the part two on top, you line up those two registration marks and it helps you make sure that you have part two lined up properly. So, okay, we're gonna do a couple different colors on here. I think I'm going to do um, yellow here where the wheels are and then I'm going to do um, a green fender and then I think the rest of this I'm going to do in gray. So we got a couple of different colors going on, but I think we can make it happen. I have my hair dryer handy so that we can dry in between. So, I think I'm gonna get a mini squeegee and start with the yellow. So we got our buttermilk yellow. It's already all stirred up and ready to go. Just takes a little bit Spread it over the screened area. You don't have to press hard, you just lightly rub over it. And then I'm gonna rub over this one. And then just stand up the squeegee to remove the excess and scrape it back into the jar. I missed a spot there. Okay, come back, scrape off the excess on this one. Like so, perfect. All right. So now we don't want um, the yellow to get stuck in our screen and mess up our design or our screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift it up until I get to the top of the yellow section. And then I'm just gonna gently lay it back down, but I'm not gonna rub it over where the yellow is because I don't really need that to stick anymore. I just wanna make sure that the area we haven't chalked yet is stuck. So I'm only gonna make sure that that area is down. Um, let's go ahead and do the green fender next. I'm going to use another small or mini squeegee with the parakeet. And I think I'll start on this end. Gently rubbing it over the top. and trying to avoid my yellow and gray areas. Okay, so now we just need to come back over, remove the excess, just like we did with the yellow. Next, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lift it up where the green portion is and then gently lay it back down. Okay, we're going to make sure that the gray area is still laying down so that we get a nice crisp design when we pull up that piece. I'm going to use the little bit larger squeegee for this one since it's a bigger area.
go over the whole thing. Make sure the entire screen and register marks are covered. Okay, get this register mark over here and stuck my finger in the gray. The good thing is it washes off. So if you get it on your hands or you get it in an area on your chalkboard that you don't want it to be, you simply wash it off with water. If you're careful and it's just a little small area that you need to remove, you can just use a little corner of your paper towel or a Q-tip and remove just that area. You don't have to wash the entire board because you made one little mistake. Okay, we've almost got all of this off. Register marks too. I think that looks good. Now we wanna quickly go ahead and remove that. We don't want the paste drying in our screen. So, here we go. My board is moving on me. Oops. All right. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to put my transfer in a pan of water so that it can soak and not dry in my screen while we're working on the other pieces. So to speed this up, I have my hair dryer here. So I apologize, it's gonna be a little bit noisy for a few seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and dry it. So this is looking good. Here's what we have so far. So you can see I have my little registration marks here and over here. We wanna make sure that it's dry because we're gonna place that next transfer on top and we don't want the sticky on the next transfer to peel up uh, and remove the chalk that we've already applied. This is pretty good. I think, I think it's looking good. So let's go ahead and fuzz our next piece. This is part two of our tractor transfer. Get a little bit of fuzz on there. So for colors on this one, what I was thinking about doing is um, the body of the tractor, green, and then the wheels in the, in the um, gray, because we already put the yellow centers of the wheels there. So I think the gray on the outside for the tires will be nice. Wow. So now just to line it up, And you can see your, your um, tractor down below to help you line it up along with the registration marks. That looks good. Okay, I think we've got it. So I'm just gently gonna push down on the transfer 
Again, I don't want to push too hard or rub too hard over it because I don't want to ruin the chalk below. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the green on the body. So we have our parakeet green. And we're just gonna smooth it over the top here. If you missed the beginning of this project, I will be posting the replay shortly after we've finished here. So please, please go back and Watch it from the beginning. Invite your friends to watch if you think they will be interested. I'd love to have them joining us. So now I'm removing the excess by just standing up the squeegee to be more parallel with the board. Get all your tractor friends on here. Show them this video and see what they think. It's gonna be a really cute farmhouse design. Okay, so now I need to lift it up to make sure the green doesn't get stuck in that um, screen. And then just gently lay it back down like that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this area is laid down without pressing too hard. And I'm gonna go back over here, get my gray. And cover the wheels. Remove the excess. I think that's pretty good. Let's lift this piece up. You want to lift from both sides so that you don't stretch your screen because these are reusable and you don't want to mess up um, the screen and distort it in any way by um, pulling on one side and, and uh, stretching or tearing your screen. So one more wheel here. So then Next thing we're going to be working on is the letters up on top, and I thought I would do those in white. The great thing about this, though, is you could do any color you want. If you wanted a pink tractor, you could totally make yourself a pink tractor. You customize it and make it whatever you want, you can get creative with it. Okay, so I think we're ready to pull this off. All right, that's looking pretty good. Drop that in my pan of water. So here's what we have. Our little tractor with some of the John Deere green and yellow coloring. 
And so next we need to place this transfer. We need to figure out where we're gonna fit that in, maybe over here to the left a little bit so that this little pipe doesn't get in the way. That might work pretty good. So let me fuzz this transfer real quick. I'm not gonna lay my towel on top because that's not dry yet, but I don't wanna run the hair dryer if I don't have to and make you guys listen to that. Just gonna fuzz this a couple of times. Place it over here. We're pretty close to having, well, my transfer is still gonna lay over that gray, so I better go ahead and dry it, or we're gonna pull up our little pipe here when, when we pull up that next transfer. So give me a sec and let me dry this. You want to use um, a warm setting um, because that's going to help dry faster. So um, if that's what you're doing, or you can just wait. If you're at home and you've got plenty of time, you can go run, you know, change your laundry out or, or whatever it is that you need to be doing at home and then come back and do the next section. But for the video, we don't want to wait that long. Should be good. I think all of this should be plenty dry and ready for our tractor life. Um, I think I'll go ahead and wash off our little register marks because that tractor life might um, go over it a little bit on that side. I didn't bring any q-tips over here so I'm just gonna use the corner of my paper towel and it'll rub right off. And I can also get these little bits where I went off the transfer a little bit, clean that up a little bit. And it's as easy as that. Okay, so last piece here, that tractor life. See if we can get that in here. Avoiding our little pipe on our tractor. I think that's pretty good. So let me know what you think. What color tractor would you have done? Leave it in the comments and if I have the colors that you would like to see, I'll come back and I'll make another tractor in another video. Or um, post a still picture of a tractor in the colors that you think would look best or that you would like to have in your house or in your kid's room or um, wherever you might want to put it wherever you've got your farmhouse designs. That would be fun. So just let me know what colors you would like to see. And I will do that and I'll make it happen. Okay, so now that the entire screen is covered, I'm just gonna start removing the excess. We're almost finished with our little project here. This would be super cute in a kid's room. I was thinking about doing a red one as part of my Christmas decorations.
could do a pink one for a little girl's room. You could do any color that you like. All right, let's pull this last one up and see what it looks like. Get a couple of corners lifted up here. Final project is revealed. That tractor life. So what do you think? You think you can make one? You totally can. Super duper easy to do. All you need is um, a couple of things. You need a transfer, some chalk paste, and a squeegee and a surface. So um, the Chalk Couture surfaces are fabulous. They are super nice to work with. Um, they bring the best crispest designs and they wash off the best. Um, but you can totally put this on other surfaces. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Father's Day project that I did, but I put the vintage truck on a board and it looks really awesome. It's just not washable, obviously. Um, one of the great things about these is that you can wash it off and try it again. You could change it for the season or you could just change it because you want to do a different color or you want to do a different design. So um, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. And if anybody leaves me comments on what colors they would like to see, I will totally do that for you and post a picture so that you can see what it looks like in the different colors. And um, yeah, if you have any other suggestions on how you would like to see it changed up, then um, I will see what I can do to get it done for you so you can see it. All right, I guess that's the end of our video. Um, again, if you have not joined the Hen House Crafting Club um, on Facebook um, and you liked this video, then you will certainly like the group. Um, go into the group, check out all the projects that are going on. Share with me what you're working on. If you have a craft project that you're working on, I want to see it. Um, and if you have, um, you know, any tips and tricks or anything like that that has to do with crafting or if you have questions, um, you can leave those there as well and um, the group will answer. If, if I don't have an answer, I'm sure one of us can come up with an answer. So um, we can, um, you know, just all hang out together. Hope to see you again next Sunday when I do my next video. And um, in the meantime, you guys have a great weekend. Go check out that um, Hen House Crafting Club. Bye.